Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you on how I made this pandan coconut tapioca pudding. The bottom of this dessert contains sweet pandan flavored tapioca pearls, and in the top portion is a semi sweet coconut cream. To make this dessert, there are two steps. We'll need to first make the cream and then the pudding afterwards. To make the cream, in a small pot, add in one can of coconut cream or coconut milk. Add in two and a half to three tablespoons of sugar, a very small pinch of salt. Mix these together until the sugar is dissolved. Allow this to cook under medium heat. We're not cooking this very long. We just want everything to be dissolved and to thicken. Now, once it starts to bubble, add in two tablespoons of the rice flour. If you don't have rice flour, you can use all-purpose flour or you can use cornstarch. Use a whisk to mix all of these ingredients together to ensure that there are no lumps or clumps. After the rice flour has been added, cook this under medium heat for another five minutes until the mixture has thickened. Once it is thickened, go ahead and turn off the heat and set this aside to cool. This is how the cream consistency should be like. Now we're going to proceed with the next step of making our pudding. In a medium pot over high heat, add in four cups of water. Add in two pandan leaves, either fresh or frozen. If you don't have this, you can do without. When the water starts to boil, add in three, four cups of tapioca pearls. Make sure immediately to mix this well, that way the tapioca pearls are not stuck to each other. Continue to cook this on high heat and make sure you're mixing about every 30 seconds to 1 minute just to ensure that the tapioca pearl are not stuck at the bottom of the pan. When you notice the amount of water has decreased and has thickened, we're going to add in our sugar which is 3-4 cups. If you want it more sweet, you can add 1 cup and then 1 tablespoon of pandan flavoring or essence. Give this a good mix. After you have added the sugar, ensure you turn the heat down to medium and continue to cook this for about 15 to 20 more minutes. After 15 minutes, you'll notice your mixture is going to start to look like this. There's more bubbles and you notice that's becoming very thick. After 15 minutes, turn the heat down to low and then remove the pandan leaf and just allow this to cook for another 5 minutes and then turn the heat off and set this aside to cool. We are now ready to assemble our dessert. Here is the cream. It has cooled down and thickened. And this is the tapioca pudding, which has cooled down as well. This is the whole kernel sweet corn and young coconut strips. Mix the corn and the young coconut strips into the tapioca pearl pudding. Now save some corn for garnishing later. Now if you like, um, I like to mix this when my tapioca pudding is cooled down, but if you want to mix, you can when it's still hot. So just mix everything together, and then now we're going to go ahead and assemble everything. Um, for the pudding, I like to put it into a piping bag. It's just easier when I'm putting into these cute little three ounce uh, trifle cups. So just squeeze about three-fourths um, full of each of these containers. I do want to point out in regards to the tapioca pearls, you'll notice that there's still that little whitish green speck inside the tapioca pearl, which usually indicates that it has not been cooked thoroughly. But actually, these, uh, this is how this dessert should be. And as it cools, those specks will not be hard, they'll be quite soft. So now I'm going to add in the cream. Add about one and a half tablespoon to each of these. More if you want more. To garnish our dessert, add some corn to the top of the cream. And then afterwards, I'm going to add some mint leaves as well, just for garnishing. For the corn, you can use fresh whole corn, boil them and then cut them down to get the kernels. Or you can use um, canned corn. Just try to choose the type of corn that are sweet with very low or no salt. So 
So this is how I make pandan coconut tapioca pudding. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you do give this recipe a try, let me know how you like it. Thank you.